together, nigga. I What's up? It's Nick Lewis. I'm back with oh, Alex right. Singleton. Alex, first I want to say congratulations for Defensive Player of the Year. I'm going to call it now. I'm going to go ahead and call it now. That's your boy. Yeah, but I he think you had a better season. I, I, I think I, I, I talked that. to Kai, and, and I told Kai to his face, I think you had the better season. And, and he understands that. Yeah, I appreciate that, then. I mean, have you Talk ever heard me lie imagine. about anything no, like that? Not, that's true. That's true. I mean, I'm, I'm 100%. I mean, no, we're, we're, we're on the internet. It's always. not like this I can hide live. this. Like, yeah, we're not hiding nothing. But, you know, as, as far as Kai being 36, 37, 38, 92, whatever he is, <laughs> I mean, for what he did was outstanding. Oh, yeah, he had an incredible year. For what he did, consistently tackle, yeah. and to make 100 and whatever tackles he had, mm-hmm. I mean, it's awesome. And he broke the Canadian record as well. Uh, I want to know, how are you not winning the Canadian of the year? Man, there's guy, you know, good guys out there. Uh, Andrew Harris out there killing it. I mean, what can I do about that? I was happy to beat Messam. And it was hard enough. <laughs> That's a tough job, just beating Messam. Well, okay, we got Toronto this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look good against them the last two times y'all played them. What's going to be the focus this week? Uh, you know, uh, obviously it starts with the run game. You know, you got any any game you want to win, you got to make them one-dimensional and force quarterback to beat you. Not saying Ricky Ray cannot beat anybody in any given day, but to take away their run game and force them to be one-dimensional will be our main focus. There's a lot of differences between Ricky and, and Mike Riley. Mm-hmm. What are some of the things that Mike posed a problem that Ricky will not? Running. Is that the only thing, or? Well, I mean, that's the the main thing, I guess, that everybody notices. But, uh, you know, they're both good veteran quarterbacks in this league. Obviously, uh, Ricky has been playing a lot longer, so he knows, kind of like you, you know, they always know what's going on. They might not have to run as fast or work as hard, but they always get the job done. That's it. you got to get the job done. That's all it's about is getting the job done, and that's what he does. And you get the job done. Yeah, that's, that's my job, to get my job done. Is there anybody on the defense that you can say truly helps you to get from where you were coming in the league last year to where you are now? Oh, yeah, we got this D coordinator that, you know. No, no, anybody me. on oh, the defense. Oh, just the defense. Oh. Any players that have took you under, you know, you got Deron Mayo over oh, yeah. there. You got some other guys that have been a part of this league oh, yeah. for a while that helped you grow. Because you, you didn't know a lot about CFL before you came, right? No, yeah, just uh, that Travis Lula because he's the all-time great Bobcat. Okay, so besides that, what player has helped you become who you are now? Deron Mayo, then. Uh, I work out with him in the offseason. He, uh, he's a guy that, you know, even though he was injured and knew to start this season he was only going to miss, you know, hopefully miss six games, you know, helped me the entire time to become, you know, the player I am today. You know, uh, teach me the ins and outs of our defense that he knew already and took me under his wing last year, I guess, and then to spend the whole offseason with him, you know, made me that much better of a player. So you're, you're 60 minutes from – Winning a great cup, your first one. You're going back-to-back years, your first two years. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you what they tell me. It's never that easy to get back there again. <laughs> and, and you'll learn that over time. But how exciting is it to know the opportunities you have in front of you? It's crazy. Uh, there's nothing else you ever want, especially after losing. I think uh, if we would have gone last year and won, obviously it would be the thing I expect to do. Just show up here, win, go home with a ring, and that's it. But to know that we got to do everything we can to win and give everything on the line, uh, you would not. I mean, you were there in 08, and since then they've been to five. I think Charleston's two and two. So to think about that and put that in perspective in my mind is, you know, crazy to believe that they're only two and two, knowing the guys that have been here, like yourself, and you know the other guys that have been throughout the years, and to know how hard we've worked to get to this point, and to know that it's all in one week. It's not like every other sport where you get four chances to win because I think we play any team we play them seven times we're going to win four yep. but the best team just has to show up that one night and so to focus on that and know where we were last year and to know what we need to do this year to change that this this year is uh, big for us good luck brother oh, hey, appreciate have a it. good game yeah. enjoy the night enjoy the weekend 